Friday night for getting a late start again on the devotion for today. It's actually going to be more like a devotion for Sunday. <clears throat> anyway, I've been working all day on trying to get Lois's Apple iPad working properly so that it can be downloaded and then upgraded to a uh, Apple iPad uh, Air 2. And if you've ever dealt with all of the passwords and Apple IDs and uh, backing up to the cloud and then restoring from the cloud and all of that without any problems, uh, you've been blessed because uh, our account got scrambled up good because of moving from Florida, no longer having the same uh, email address, which was our Apple ID uh, for so long. So it's been quite a day today, a very frustrating day for me. Uh, Lois, Lois has just watched me and and uh, saw that I had a lot of control over my language and over my my wrath of uh, all that was going on. How well do you know the Christmas story? Well, in the next several devotions, uh, we're going to be dealing with the Christmas story. And I think most of us think, gee, I've heard the Christmas story so many times. Uh, surely I know the Christmas story. Well, I'm going to start tonight with just three questions. First question is, how many Gospels do we find the Christmas story in? How many Gospels do we find the Christmas story in? You know, there's four Gospels. How many of the four Gospels do we find that Christmas story? Question number two. How many generations from Abraham to the Messiah? How many generations from Abraham to the Messiah? Question number three. What Old Testament books, at least two of them, name two of them, predict the birth or talk about the birth of Jesus? What at least two Old Testament books talk about the birth of Jesus? Well, the first question, how many Gospels do we find the Christmas story in? Most of you probably answered two, Matthew and Luke. And that's correct. Matthew 1, verses 1 through 25, and Luke chapter 1, verses 1 through chapter 2, verse 20. Nothing in Mark about his birth. However, technically, I think you should have answered three. Because in John 1, 14, we find that the word became flesh, dwelt among us, we beheld his glory, glory as the only begotten. That's talking about the birth of Jesus. Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us. So technically three gospels, not two, and you'll find that in John 1, 14. How many generations from Abraham to the Messiah. Well, Matthew chapter 1, verse 17 tells us from Abraham to David, 14, from David to deportation to Babylon, 14, and from Babylon to the Messiah, 14. That's three times 14, if my math is still good. That's 42 generations, 42 generations, 14, 14, and 14. You'll find it in Matthew 1, 17. What Old Testament books talk about the birth of Jesus? If you answered Isaiah and Micah, uh, you're right. If you added in either Numbers, Psalms, or Malachi, you're also correct because all of those books talk about the birth of Jesus in some way. In Isaiah, there are at least three references that talk about Jesus being born or coming into this world. 7.14, 9.6, and Isaiah 40. In Micah, it's 5.2, talking about Bethlehem, the place of his birth. In Numbers, we find at least two references to the birth of Jesus in chapter 6, verse 3, and in Numbers 24, 17, Malachi chapter 3, verse 1, and Psalms 103. 
Well, I hope that you did better than most people would do. You can probably write these questions down and the answers and have a good time with all of your guests on Christmas Day by saying, how well do you know the Christmas story? Of course, there's always going to be somebody that talks about Santa Claus or talks about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or some other story about Christmas. But let's face it, Christ is Christmas. And we should know the story of Christmas. I hope that you'll have a good time with your guests on Christmas Day, asking them the questions that I'll be sharing with you on the next several devotions. How well do you know the Christmas story? That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.